The sun always rises. Hey guys, what's up? It's Sailor Sun, aka Rare, here with another episode of The Sun Always Rises. I know it's been a while since my last upload. Um, there's a couple things to blame for that. One, I was lazy and sitting on like seven games that I needed to record. Two, uh, Pokemon. And three, uh, well, there's really no third excuse. I was just lazy. So, sorry for falling off the horse like that. We're going to try and get back on it now and get back with a lot of games. So, this game is weird. And I remember it. It's It's been a couple, it's been about a week since this game actually happened. But essentially, our Warwick, I thought, was AFK. And he literally came back into the game as I gave Ari a blue buff. So yeah. This is gonna be a little weird. So I don't even remember how this game actually plays out. I don't remember if we win or lose. Um, I just had it labeled as like really strange game in my feed. So we're gonna watch it. We're gonna see how it goes. Uh, we'll focus mostly on bot lane and my own play. Uh, throughout this series, like I can, I can commentate on other people, but honestly, I'm I'm making these as a learning tool, both for myself and for the viewer, you. So uh, hopefully, we can all learn from this as a result. So we're gonna focus the camera on me for the most part. So to begin, um, I'm a little behind on experience because I tanked blue buff Ferrari and then I had to go back. Vayne's taking a lot of poke. That's to be expected though against a Jinx and uh, Lulu lane. It's just. It's a lot of poke damage, and there's really not a lot I can do as Leona against that early game, especially when I'm underleveled. So it looks like Lee Sin picked up the first blood up top. He killed Darius with Nasus. Um, I mean, that's kind of to be expected. It, you can assume that Lee Sin's going to level 3 top, because that's what you normally do. So... I'm not like really sour about losing first blood. I, I don't really care in this instance because it was such a weird game. Now this is a problem though, because now now Warwick is dead. So we'll back this up because I mean essentially what happens is Warwick got screwed over kind of by me because I gave blue buff to Ari and that's a lot of experience, and he's doing red and then just boom he's dead and there's nothing he can do. So now that's a double buff Nasus. And he's about to have a second red buff, so yeah, just Warwick's absolutely screwed. And it's probably to some extent my fault. Kind of. Also, wait, Nasus is jungle, not Lee Sin. So I'm dumb. Nasus did the gank top lane, not Lee Sin. Just not realized that. Oh well, whatever. I'm paying attention, clearly. So, uh, early game, there's nothing I can do at all. And... What amazes me is somehow Ari manages to die to Fizz even though she had blue to start. And granted, yes, Nasus ganked, but how she didn't just dominate that lane is something I was questioning. And I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to go back and watch because I don't particularly care. Like, it is what it is, it happened. But as you can see... Warwick is super behind. The entire team is super behind. The only lane that hasn't lost yet is Bot, but I'm pretty sure that's about to change. More than likely. So, burn to flash. Vayne flashes. She's not going to pick up the kill because Chompers. Uh, oh, actually, does she pick up the kill here? Oh, she does pick up the kill there. So, Jinx did a misplay and re-engage when she really didn't need to. Uh, Lulu gets out because Nasus blocks, which sucks, but that is what it is. You can't pick up a kill here. Uh, he wither on me instead of Vayne, which I'm fine with. So, uh, we actually got the kill off Jinx, which is great, because getting Vayne fed is, like, the only way we're going to freaking win this game. Um, should I back there? I don't know. I mean, we have lane control, because they had to back. But I think at some point we should end up backing, because we know they're going to be coming bot, and I did my chain out of order there. And, oh man, does he really lit? Wow. Oh, this game's painful. Oh, man. So, yeah, I messed up my combo. I don't know. Feasibly, could we have gotten an ult? Maybe. Or a kill, rather. Maybe. I don't know. But, upside eye, Philo. Uh, Vayne should. Does she not back? She really should have backed earlier. If she dies here, I'm going to be a little pissed. Okay, so she doesn't die, but she didn't back when I wanted her to back. Because now by the time she gets to base, I'm going to be at the turret, which means the turret's going to 
probably take a lot of damage as a result. We'll see. So, I'm walking back down. She's not backing, which is a huge mistake, because she got a kill, and she's really low on HP. I don't know why she's staying. Like, if one cork hits her, I think she might die. Maybe not, but it's, it's going to be close, one way or the other. So... Ari is just getting stomped by this Fizz. Because, I mean, she gave him blue. So, yeah. No, he's toast. Or rather, she's toast. He's 2-0 oh with blue buff and double Dorans. There's, she's not going to be able to come back from that. So, so at this point, uh, I'm not feeling that great. Uh, top loss, first blood. Um, bot's doing okay, but mid's dying hard. I'm going to end up getting into ward wars with this Lulu. And she just pinked my ward, which sucks. I have a pink and another normal, so I can counter. But still, it's sucky. Is Nasus just soloing? Yeah, yeah. Nasus is just soloing it. And I didn't have ward coverage, so... I don't even know he's a blue. Um, is Warwick going to go blue or wolves? He's going to go... He sees him. He can't fight it. Ari wants to fight it. Apparently Vayne wants to fight it. So we're going to fight it, I guess. I don't know. There's not much we can really do against this Nasus, unless it's like three or more of us, but that's just going to leave our bot turret to take a lot of damage. So I don't know why I'm still here. That's a mistake. I should be back at bot lane right now, because now they're going to put a lot of damage on this turret as a result of me just dicking around. So Nasus is going to swing, but tower took a ton of damage. I, I should not have been there. That was a misplay on my part. It's not a huge deal. But we gave up a lot of tower HP kind of needlessly when we really didn't need to at all. If I had just stayed bot lane, I didn't even help Warwick do blue. So, like, there was really no need for me to be up there at all. So, my bad. I'm pretty close to six. I don't know if I necessarily want to engage unless I get a full combo off on Jinx. Excuse me. So, overall, my goal of this game is just get Vayne fed. That's all I care about. Get Vayne kills, get Vayne kills, get Vayne more kills, get Vayne kills. Because we're going to need a hyper carry. Like, we're already 4-1. and one. Top is losing, mid's losing. And bot's just kind of meh. Um, okay, so we trade pinks there. That's okay, because Lulu doesn't have another ward. So I'm free to do wards wherever I want. So there's that. So now we're... Now we're really not covered against Nasus, actually. I don't have big ward coverage. I need to have a lot more. Because they have complete dragon coverage, they have blue covered, they have tri covered, so there's a good combo on Jinx, I do the exhaust, there's the ult, walk around chompers, I'm not sure if Vayne got stunned there or what, um, let's watch that one more time, so full combo, stun, I might have exhausted a little bit early, but she still flash, I get a perfect ult, yeah, she just kind of stands there for a second. I think we probably could have picked up that kill if she just auto-attacked, like, twice more? I don't know. I think maybe she lagged. I don't know. But that was pretty much flawless on my part. I didn't hit chompers. I had perfect combo. Exhaust was okay. And then I got a solid flash. So, not flash. Oh, I can't English today. I'm pretty sure Fizz is going to come down just completely 3 us now. I'm dead. There's no way to save me. Yeah, I'm just, no. Uh, she should be killing, yeah. She should either be running or going for a kill. You gotta pick one. You can't, okay, that, no. That's not what I wanted her to do. When I mean go for a kill, I mean like reasonably, not like go under turret and Warwick's getting shit on because Nasus is just fed as hell. Okay, so, yeah, this game not going our way at all so we overstayed our welcome i didn't have ward coverage for fizz coming down but it was kind of already obvious because ari left lane so why wouldn't fizz roam so we should have just accepted the fact that we didn't get the jinx kill and then either like just poke turret a little bit and leave or whatever but we overstayed and fizz got a ton of kills and i think jinx got the other kill so yeah overall no bueno I randomly ult. I don't know if I saved this tower. I think it was just completely dumb. Yeah, that was dumb. Waste of an ult. Granted, it's not that long of a cooldown. It's only 80 seconds, but that was... I don't know. It was dumb. I don't know why I thought I could save that. 
clearly I'm just like, I don't know, fucking Garen. Or I can just spin to win. Or someone else with ridiculous wave clear. But nope, I'm Leona. Maybe I thought I was jungle Leona. And I had Sunfire. Yeah, that's what it was. I had Sunfire at 11 minutes into the game as support. Maybe in Season 4, when gold is ridiculous, and I can just, like, get stupid fed and snowball as a support, which is really wonky to me. I don't even know how to feel about that right now. So, finally, I think to myself, hmm, maybe I should ward river, and I don't even flip in pink dragon. I am so garbage. Ugh, I am bad. So, we are randomly roaming up river for no apparent reason. Where am I? Am I going to help top with an alt in 20 seconds and no boots? Oh, I'm bad. Probably should have just stayed mid. But hey, I guess I'm going to try and make something happen here. Whee! Going in blind. Get the stun off Naces. Ooh, actually that was a nice pull by Darius. That wasn't bad. Warwick's got literally like no damage. Terrible alt. But whatever. My ult comes off cooldown! Yay! Did we kill Nasus? I hope we kill Nasus. Okay, so that was great. That was awesome. Because now we have double buff Darius. Nasus doesn't have buffs. Lee Sin finally died. Darius has some more gold, so he's not going to be completely just there and doing nothing else. Uh, and I come back to this fight mid, so... They're dashing everywhere. Okay. And they just killed us. I know I could be controlling the camera. And you know what? Honestly, I probably should be controlling the camera. I should stop being lazy. So, You guys want to watch that? Sure, we'll watch that. We'll see what happens. So, he throws the ult. Poke, poke, poke. Nice condemn into a wall. Good taunt. There you go. That's the kill. Or charm. Not taunt. But same shit. Vayne probably gets this tower. And Jinx is just completely free farming bot. Which is unfortunate. But it's reality. So, I'm... Killing this pink. Okay, good. I go up to the left. That's the right play. I don't want to engage them at all. So, she didn't get the tower, but it's low, so it's not a huge deal. Um, I don't know if I've... Eh, she can probably just poke it down real quick. It should be fine. Because, yeah, Ari's bot lane, so she can just poke that. Okay, so we're finally getting a little bit of momentum. Not a lot, but we've at least, like, stalled the tidal wave that was the first 11 minutes, which was ridiculous. So, we're back up to 8 and 4. Um, I actually have, like, a pretty high assist percentage. Um, oh my god, when you can have assist chains in Season 4. God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for Season 4 just in general, because it's just, like, support buffs everywhere, and it forces people to ward, because I can only buy so many wards a game, which is fantastic and terrible at the same time, because if I'm stuck with trolls who refuse to ward, it's going to suck that I can't, like, just pick up the slack on my own end, but... Whatever! So, more ward wars. She picks up the pink. Kills off mine. Um, yeah, I have a pink and a sight, so I'm fine. Not too worried about that. Kill off her pink. Lulu has one more, so she's just going to pick my pink, and that pisses me off. I don't know why I'm doing this. Like, I should just... I shouldn't even be there. <laughs> like, if Jinx had actually, like, bothered to stay with Lulu, I'd probably just be dead right now. But, whatever. So, dragon's up. I go on Lulu randomly. She ults for the Lulu kill. Please tell me we get this. Okay, so there's that. There's the Jinx ult. Vayne's dead. Am I probably dead? I'm probably dead. Oh yeah, no, I'm dead. Oh, fail flash too. No! Oh, bronzy plays. Bronzy plays. Okay, so we went way too ham on a support with no vision and no real assistance or coverage. Darius is still top, which is fine. He's got Tabby, which isn't bad against Lee Sin. He's going for a fun fire, which is fine. So Darius is at least doing okay. Nasus is going to get another free dragon. So they have a huge, like, just objective and ward and vision and gold and kills and everything advantage on us. This kind of sucks, actually. So... Overall, Ari is super far behind with three door... Is that a thing? In the comments below, is that a thing? Is Ari, do you get three door ends? Is that like a normal thing that is done at times? I, I don't know. I don't play Ari, so... 
It just seems really excessive to me. I guess if you're like super behind, but I don't know, for some reason three door ends just seems like really weird to me. So Darius is probably gonna die up top. I think that goes without saying. Nice kick by Lee. Kudos to him. And that's not sarcasm either, it's like a legitimately like nice kick. Darius went for the attempted uh, pull in because he knew he was screwed, which is fine. Don't blame him for that. He was like, going to be able to get out of that most likely. Just at least him would just follow him up. So, Blue Team's ward coverage is really good. Like, really, really, really good. I give massive kudos to his Nasus because he's just completely raffle stomping and he has great vision coverage. So, uh, no one saw that. That wasn't. That wasn't a great zenith at all. That was pretty garbage. So. Okay, so. Let's take a survey. Covered. 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 Covered, covered. Already pushed in. Already pushed in. Already pushed in. Blue team has complete and total vision control. Pretty much complete and total map control. And, I mean, Jinx isn't fed, but she's doing okay. Nasus is fed. Lee Sin's doing okay. And Fizz is just completely, like, throwing sharks at people and what do. So. Okay, so. Game plan. Same exact thing. Still need to get Vayne fed. That's our only, only choice of victory. Because in the late game, Nasus is just going to get ridiculous. He's already super far ahead. There's nothing that I can do to stop that snowball, so I need to create a snowball of my own, which is going to be most dirty NA, hopefully. That's the game plan, anyway. So Warwick's just going to see us top, I guess. Um, I, if I remember correctly, he was still really pissed off, mostly at me, and I don't blame him. Like, if I was a jungler and I came into the game and, like, my initial buff was just gone, I'd be pissed, too. So, I'm sorry, Socialist Pig. I legitimately thought you discoed, and then you came right back as I made that decision to give Ari the blue, so I feel like a derp. Um, Terry should be fine because they're not going to be able to pursue that far. Warwick cover is fucked. He's gone out way too far with no vision. He's just tunnel visioning on CS really hard. He's fucked. There's no way he's going to live through this. I'm just going to watch the inevitable downfall. Yeah, I mean, that took seconds. That was dumb. I didn't have any vision coverage for him. They had tons. They knew he was at the wave. That was just super derpy. So... That was a poor play on his part. Not that I can blame him. We've all made tons of misplays this game, myself included. So so we know at least two top are in the near top jungle. They're going to be pushing this tower in. I pinged it. I'm asking for assistance. I'm like, come on, guys. You can't just give him a free secondary for nothing. So they're thinking that there's more people behind me. There's really not, but that's nice. Lee Sin stays for some reason. Um, I think he's probably going to get away. We're not really focus firing. We're like splitting damage between Lee and Nasus. Fans out of position. And now I think we're gonna get cleaned up here. So four for one, I think. Ace? No, four for one. So yeah. Oh, four for two. Nice ult. Okay, kudos to Warwick. That was a really good ult. So And then the tower switches targets all the time and just yeah. So what we did wrong, we split damage on Nasus and Lee Sin. Like, if we wanted to kill one, that's fine, but we kind of, like, split damage really awkwardly. Um, Vayne was really out of position. She was, like, down here in the brush, whereas the rest of us were up here in the lane. So that was a mis misplay on her part. Um, yeah, I, I can't say in any way whatsoever that that went well, because we had four, five deaths, actually, because Warwick ended up dying. We lost the tower, and we got one kill for it off a play that could have just been a quick lease in kill and back to tower, so. That wasn't great. I'm just kind of like deep sighing at my own play because this is really garbage. Like, this game is not good. So, but the best way you learn is from your mistakes. So watching this game is something for people to be like, oh, I should probably not do what Kendall just did because Kendall's bad, so. That's okay. So at this point, I have Ruby, and I have one pink. I really, really need to get some more vision up. Like, we are starved for vision right now. Lulu has an Oracle, which is the correct play, because they know that they're ahead. They can continue to have complete and total map control. So this sucks. Like, this really sucks. I don't even remember, like, 
Is it possible for us to win this game? Do we just get completely trashed on? I don't know. I really don't remember how this game comes out, so... Guess we'll find out. So, essentially, they're all just farming. I mean, if it's not Jinx farming mid, it's at least in farming bot. If it's not that, it's just Lulu going around counter-warding me and putting boards up everywhere. They have tons of vision. They know Ari's probably in that general vicinity because they have tons of vision, so... She's trying to make a play on Lulu. She's forced to blow her ult. So we just kind of back out. Nothing really happens there. I mean, Lulu just still has ridiculous freaking ward coverage with Nasus. This Nasus is really good. I give complete and total kudos to him. He's had really strong plays. He has great ward coverage. Um, I don't know if that item build's correct. I don't play Nasus enough to be able to comment on that. It looks fine to me. Like, it's armor, health, and then Sheen just for more damage. So that seems fine. Because at this point, our Ari is just... Like, what? Ugh. So she's got Fiendish Codex and Doran's Ring. Like, that's... Ugh. No. Just no. No, 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 no. Leeson's out of position. This should be an easy kill. Please. Okay, well... We were forced to Warwick out there, which I think is a waste. I don't know. Like, yes, it was an easy... Okay, that was questionable. That was terrible. I am bad. Good Zenith. Nice stun. Okay, so at least, like, made up for it with a good Zenith combo. Because that was a terrible ult. That was just... Ugh. My reaction time was terrible. So, okay. So. Good thing is... Vayne's getting kills. Vayne getting, Vayne getting kills makes for happy support. So, we can actually do Dragon for once. Because their jungler's dead, Lee Sin's dead, and they don't have any ADC. We should be have a free Dragon. This should be just fine. I don't think anything weird's gonna happen here. They're down for quite some time. There's really nothing they can do. I pink after we started. I don't know. I did, probably didn't even really need to pink there. Like, it's not going to do much for us. I probably should have just saved it to go do Baron Ward coverage. So, okay. Upsides. We got a 3-0, a three and oh, I think. Yeah, that was just a shutout right there. So that was good. Uh, there were misplays there. My ult was awful. Darius went for the flash, which I guess forced another flash, so that's fine. Uh, and then we picked it up with a good couple combos in general. Um, things I'm noticing, uh, that generally speaking, we have lots of CC. It's weird CC, like it's Warwick alt and Leona alt and in a way Darius pull. So it's not like amazing, but it works if it's chained well. That's really the important thing. Like if we don't chain our CCs, we're just going to get wiped, because they do way more damage than we do at this point in the game. And I really need an Oracle. There we go. Okay, perfect timing. As I said that, I Oracle. Good job, me, from a week ago, or two weeks ago, however old this game is. Jeez. <laughs> I really need to put more games. I'm just going to like sit here and do a couple casts in a row to get more episodes out, because I know some people have been enjoying them. And uh, I, I want to keep putting content out. Hopefully, you know, people will enjoy it. I'll get more comments and more feedback on my play. Because I know I'm not great. I am a low gold player, and I am just not great. I have already accepted that, but I'd like to get better sometime. I don't play League a ton, because at this point, I don't know, like, the season's coming to a close, and I'm happy where I'm at, at least from a ranking perspective, and there's other things that I need to be doing besides just videos, like I need to continue searching for a job and other things like that. I am unemployed, that wasn't mentioned. It's not a choice either, it's just... The way things are right now, so I'm looking for work. So if anyone needs to hire a video editor, hit me up. Let me know. So yeah. Um, let's see. This game's ten minutes left. I don't know. We'll see what happens this game. So Wraiths are dead. They still have total vision coverage control. Like, I, okay. I had an article and I worded there, but I didn't check the brush. That was dumb. I should check the brush. We're both just kind of posturing for something to happen here. I throw out that word just so we can see where they're at a little bit, but obviously just kill with oracles. Um, they're just poking. I shouldn't let them... I, I, think I, I think I just revealed to them that Warwick was right there. Though they've probably already guessed that just based off of our positioning. So Now I'm in a bad spot. Luckily I didn't go too far forward or I would have been dead. So I gotta walk around again. And we're both just kind of jockeying for position. So that was a really good taunt. Nice pull. That should be an instant jinx death. That's great. So Vayne's getting people on her, but we're kind of covering her. Not really. I don't know. 
Yeah, that's not great, but Nasus still dies, so... Lulu stays, which is a mistake, because that should be a kill. I already used my stun, so I can't slow her. Does anyone have alt left? No, no one has alt left, but Warwick should be able to chase her down. So, I know Lucent's backing. Do I get it? Oh, no! And, like, the Wisp even follows him all the way back to Fountain. Oh, that sucks. So, Lucent lived there. Overall, four for one, which is exactly what happened at Top Turret, like, seven minutes ago. So, we're not out of this game. That was a huge swing. That gave us a lot of momentum. We should get this tower. Emphasis on we should get this tower. I don't know if we actually will, because we don't have our ID carry. But, overall... We should be able to get this. Okay, so Warwick's just going for it, and we're just going to burn him. Fine, that works. I'm okay with that. We have Taunt, we have Leona Chain, we have Warwick Ult, and we have Darius Pull. So, hey, that works. So, tower's down. Uh, I'm not sure what the dragon timer was. I probably should have looked, but that's okay. Oh, hey, look. Wow, I am like a prophet right now. I say something, and then it appears on the screen. So, dragon's up in a 1 minute and 50 seconds. So, th this is a mistake. I don't think we should be staying for this blue. I think this is overstaying. Oh, wow. Darius got it. Okay. Well, so I think Fizz should have jumped over the wall. If I was playing Fizz, I would have gone for that because he knows that overall we were low from the last fight. But whatever. Darius gets the blue. I guess we'll just take it. Hey, why not? So Warwick picks up our blue. Vayne's farming bot. Lulu's caught out of position again. Nice up by Warwick. This should be a free kill. Lulu's ult on cooldown. Okay. Now... Yes, 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 yes. Oh, sweet. Yes. Oh, God. Yes, that was sexy. Good dodge. Um, I should not be following that. Should just be looking for wards. Check the brush. Me. Me. Check, check the brush. Check the brush. There you go. There you go, Skipper. Good job. Good job, me from the past. So, the game is actually completely tied. Gold is essentially the same, towers are essentially the same, and kills are essentially the same. Wow. That's quite a comeback from 8-1 and one in the first 11 minutes of the game. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I guess we'll see how this game ends up. Um, overall, so let's see. Ari has DFG. Correct move. This is Arch Rod. Correct move. I'm building Aegis of Legion, which is fine. Uh, I still have Oracle, which is good. I've had Oracle coverage for a while now. Vayne has Penbo, she's got uh, Blade of the Ruin King, she's got Static Shiv, those are all fine as far as I'm concerned. I don't play any carries, and even then those items just seem to work fine for me. Uh, Warwick's just actually pretty tanky, and he's done consistently like a really good job of locking people down, so I'm not going to criticize his build. Someone's talking to me on Steam, hopefully they'll stop, because I forgot to set myself to away. We'll see. Alright, so good cork. Gives them sight. They know we're coming. That should have been pretty obvious we're coming, though. So that's not, like, really out of the question. Uh, all th are all three lanes pushing? I don't know. But we're kind of barreling down on them. Because, I don't know. Like, the momentum is in our favor. Dragon's up. We should probably go kill it. Nice pull. Uh, we're blowing a lot for the support, though. So we'll see what happens as a result of that. Ari gets pretty much killed instantly. E Jinx is just free to kill. Jinx is total free farm. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, Vayne. Clean this up. Oh, Vayne. Oh, Vayne. Yes! Oh, thank God. So, let's watch that one more time, because that's kind of a critical fight. So, we'll back up one more time. Okay. Ignore all that, because it's past shit now. So... Okay, so both AD carries have no one on them. And Lee Sin actually kicks Vayne away, which is perfect. So Vayne picks up the lead kill. They're busy killing Warwick instead of turning on Vayne, which is a big mistake. And there you go. Man. So neither AD carry had anyone on them. And Lee Sin kicked Vayne away so she didn't get hit down. So everyone's dead but Vayne. Vayne is now the hyper carry that I dreamed of at the beginning of this game. She should get this tower. Yeah, only Lou is alive. She's got plenty of time. She should get this tower. Killing the minions is a mistake here. She should have been planking on that tower. Nice exhaust. It's a good move by Lulu. So, we're denied the tower. That sucks. Would have really loved to have had that. I. She should go dragon. 
Well, hmm. Maybe not. Huh? I don't know. She probably could have killed Dragon. Like, it's gonna be a while till they actually get there because they just now respawned. I think she probably should Dragon. I don't know why she went Wraith. I disagree with that. She double buff. We knew they weren't gonna be able to get there for a while. I think we should have gone straight Dragon. So, I have Oracles. I check for wards. There are, are none. I'm gonna put a ward over the wall and I say, okay, let's do this. Let's get this really quick. There's no reason for us not to. I still have a ward of Baron, so if they go there, we'll know. We should really just get Dragon. Now, Vayne is alone. As long as she doesn't get cut off by, like, Fizz or something, she should be fine. She's going straight back. That's fine. Here comes Fizz. Oh, this should be a free Fizz. Yes! And Darius still has his ult. Nice ult by me. Good kick by Lee Sin. Get the pull. Get the pull. Get the oh, my God. Vayne cleanup crew. This is so great. Yes! Okay, so I did a flash ult there, I believe, to get that combo started, and then we just had a ton of CC follow-up, no one was on Vayne, and she just burst some people down along with Ari. So this is great. Momentum is completely in our favor at this point. We should get this tower down, because there's no Fizz and there's no Jinx. Or Baron. Yeah, Baron's a fine play. Either of those are totally acceptable. So I, I walked by a ward with Oracles, because I walked by two wards with Oracles. I was going to say, kill one of those at least. Don't be that bad. So I should throw some wards down real quick, unless I'm completely out. I might be out. Oh uh, yeah, I'm probably out right now. That's fine. So this should be, for all intents and purposes, a free Baron. Because they still don't have Jinx. Nasus might come in for a steal, but if he does, we can just lock him down. Um, I'm really low, so I kind of have to tuck in. Okay, we got the Baron. I don't want to fight, because I'm really low, so I'm going to go back. At this point, we should just back by and shove mid. Like, just kick him in the teeth while they're down. So... I go back, I buy, got another oracle, even though I still have one on me. How long is that going to last? Let's see. That's, yeah, I think that was the right play. It never hurts to have one with me, especially considering this late in the game. I know Lulu's going to be going for as much ward coverage as she can, so it should be my goal to uh, give us complete and total map control. We have Baron. Uh, pushing out the lanes real quick is fine, but then we really should group and barrel down mid. Or any lane, just whatever one we want to do. But we should be barreling down a lane in general. So, they're doing their blue because they know it's up. Warwick got our blue, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. I'm just kind of pushing mid a little bit as Leona, which is, as most people know, kind of herpaderpy because there's not much I can do. But, whatever. It's fine. So, okay. Vayne has a guardian angel. We have Baron. There is 100% no reason for us not to push mid at this point so i don't know if work's gonna split or what oh this should okay that was a little preemptive on my part i should have waited about a second and a half before i ulted nasus and chasing nasus is the wrong play we should be going for the tower we should be pushing the lane or bot that's fine just like we should be taking a tower because we now know we forced nasus out of position there's nothing he can do so i should just tank this dude man up man mode Man up. Oh, okay. So we let Nasus get back. I don't know. I probably could have just man moded that shit. Probably should have. So whatever. We're all here. It's a free tower. Uh, okay, so Fizz throws his ult out. Which is kind of great, actually. Because now that's on cooldown. If we can get a good pull or just a good initiate in any way whatsoever, we can probably just outright win a fight. Because now that his ult's on cooldown, that's kind of a big deal. So, Vayne's going to plank the turret, Warwick runs up, I run in, we're just kind of tanking damage as Vayne is somewhat plinking. There's one, there goes Darius, yeah, this should be game, I think. Yep, okay, so there's that. Wow, Quadra for the wolf. And then Scumbag Ari gets the, oh, that's a tower, never mind. I don't know who got the other kill, it's probably Vayne. Um, all in all. Yeah, that's basically what I figured was going to happen. And then we get the win. So, sweet. So, uh, yeah. That game was really, really sloppy. I'm actually, like, face palming right now because I did not play well overall. Uh, 04 and 20, that's okay. Um, as most of you guys saw, there were a lot of mistakes made on both sides of that game. They had a huge lead and they kind of blew it. Uh, I don't know if it was a lack of coordination on their part or if we just got lucky i don't know that game was really topsy-turvy so uh this has been another episode of the sun always rises 
Uh, hopefully I won't play like that every game because that was just really bad, honestly. But uh, we got the win. I think it was mostly due to Van and Warwick really stepping up to the plate. They carried Ari really hard. And Darius was good too. He had some really great pulls. But overall, we chained our CC and through the chain CC, that's how we won. We were able to lock down Jinx. We were able to lock down Fizz. And with that, we won. If we didn't chain our CCs effectively, we just instantly lost fights, as was pretty evident. And then that one fight where Vayne picked up a triple was kind of critical, where both AD carries didn't get peeled, which was, or didn't have to get peeled because no one was on them. This game's just weird. I'm just going to cut right here. So <laughs> thanks for watching. I'm going to go record some more episodes, and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace.